Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl fan Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu and on this channel we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below. And we'll be more than glad to do it for you guys. By the way, you guys should check out our second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. A big shout out to each and every person that subscribed to our channel, uh, keeps requesting stuff, liking our stuff and sharing. We're very, very grateful. I hope you guys are doing alright and may you stay blessed. A big shout out a big shout out to the person that suggested this they suggested i react to amazing news prophet muhammad's name found in the bible jewish rabbis on islam so this video is going to be in two parts because it's long and my camera is actually low so without wasting time let's get into the video <laughs> Muhammad just happens to be that if you were during living during like we know Jesus's time you would have to follow his teachings today or Moses's teachings at his time but Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him now this is the messenger for President Trump for all the Christians yeah. everybody he's a mess messenger for everybody as a matter of fact recently there is a rabbi chief rabbi in Israel mm -hmm. who have studied Islam yes and now he went back to the original scripts of the Torah yes and he found out that indeed Muhammad is the last and the seal of the prophets and he's the one is gonna come at the end as a matter of fact there is if you google somewhere on the internet you find out many of the Jews when you go to the Wailing Wall they say Muhammad 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 Muhammad. This is uh, from the book of Solomon, the song, song of Psalms, right? Uh, chapter 5, number 16. So go ahead. You want to read it? Please do. And we, we definitely want to, you're okay with uh, us recording? Uh, if you want to. Okay. Toltiko, Imatakim, Kalenu, Makamadim. I'm not sure if you remember or recognize the syllables Muhammadim in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is another translation. This is one translation. This is the other translation. Oh, look at that. Are you able to read it? Or is, is No, I'm reading the English. I'm reading uh, yeah, the English. yeah, go ahead. Yeah. yeah, his mouth is most sweet. Yea, Muhammad. This is my beloved and this is my friend, O daughters of Jerusalem. I'm going to give you... Uh, the plural. That, that would be plural. Muhammadim. It becomes plural. Uh, it's, a, uh, it's a plural of respect. This passage, by the way, is what is mentioned by God in the Quran. Uh, in the Quran, it says, We have mentioned you, O Muhammad, in the previous scriptures by name. And you, you read that. Yeah. You have no right to translate names of people. But they have been doing that. Muhammad Im, they translated as altogether lovely. But the word Muhammad is there in the Hebrew language in the original. In reading the English translation of Song of Songs 516, it finishes the description by saying, He is altogether lovely, but what most people don't know is that the name of that man was given in the original Mejilat. Here is verse 16, and how it is written in ancient Hebrew before introducing the vowels, in the 8th century. From the Hebrew Bible, on scripturetext.com. Here is the word in question. This word, is made of four letters. Mem. Het. Mem. Dalet. Now when reading the word as it is written in its original form, with no vowels, it can be read as, Muhammad, which is the name of the Muslim prophet, or as, Mamad with no A after the H. According to Ben Yehuda's, Hebrew English Dictionary, it is correctly pronounced as Muhammad, not Mamad. So how we're going to know for sure? 
if it's pronounced as Muhammad, the Muslim prophet, or as Mamad, a random Hebrew word, the only way is to give the verse to a rabbi, and say to him please read. Here is the Song of Songs 516, and how it is read by a rabbi from a Hebrew Jewish site, please notice, the im in Hebrew, is a plural of respect. <laughs> זה דודי וזה רעי בנות ירושלים, חיכו ממתקים וכולו מחמד, 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 מחמד דין. מחמד, מחמד. למה הם אומרים את זה? כי זה בספרות שלהם, והם יודעים את זה בלי לדעת מה הם מדברים. אבל הוא נהיה מוסלם, והוא נהיה את הקורבן שקורבן 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 שקורבן. Yeah, and the past. It reminds me, you have uh, learned Christians, uh, Waraka ibn Nofo, during the time of Prophet Muhammad. You had a, he he was one who who knew the scriptures at that time, yes. and when uh, <clears throat> it was declared that uh, Prophet Muhammad brought this news that he was indeed a messenger, people knew him as having the the most. Uh, he was the most honest, the most uh, trustworthy, and when he came with it, this was a Christian who followed him. Yes. And you had the uh, Najasi also. The, the, yeah, Najasi, yeah. Yeah, he was the king. He also, at the end, accepted Islam. So these are Christians accepting Islam. Then you had scholars of Judaism at yes. that time. Who also, what was it, uh, Salam, uh, Ibn Salam? Ibn Salam. He also, he was someone who uh, accepted and, and others. What was the, uh, you had that situation where the, the, the man, he was Jewish, he lent some money to the, the Muslims and then he reneged. After three months, he said, I'm going to come back. He came back there after a month. He started to, because it was one thing he was testing. He wanted to test all the signs fit. Yeah, his forbearance. Yes, all the signs fit that he was indeed the messenger, that the, the Jews came to Yathrib, to Medina, waiting yes. for the final messenger to come. And then he, he saw the signs, but he wanted to test them in his forbearance. And then he started to, you know, slander, to, and you know, he, he attack. And Rasul was always cool. He was just nice and never raised his voice. At all, yeah, and then what and he accepted Islam, and then Omar radiallahu anh asked him. He, he, uh, he, the Prophet yeah. saw some said, "Give him his money and more, because you scared him." Omar, Omar, yes, yeah, that's you know this this, uh, this narration, yeah. And then he ended up uh, asking him, "Why did you do this?" He said, "Because I saw the signs. He fit them. I, there was just one sign left, and that was the, the quality of forbearance. Yes, if he has the power, meaning that if he can punish." That, and he's in the ability to do so, that he would, but he didn't. He showed mercy, leniency. You see, any, you see the, people do not realize that God has created us in the most wonderful way, that we can use our brain to think. And if we think properly, we're going to be led to the truth. Properly, yeah. And anyone who's really honest to themselves, and want to find out the truth, they will find the truth. And the truth will be that Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the last and the seal of the prophets. And Islam is the way of life. And God have made it responsibility on him to protect that Quran from being altered or corrupted. And the fact is, there is millions, if not hundreds of millions of Muslims who memorize the Quran from one, from the beginning to the end, not only memorize it as words, but they memorize it the way that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, uttered 1400 years ago. Yeah. That by itself convinced all the world that there is only one Quran, and it's not only one Quran, written Quran, it is pronounced the same way as it has been pronounced by Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and the companions at that time 1400 years ago. Mm -hmm. So really and truly, if you want the best, look in Islam. So I, as a rabbi, view Muhammad as one of the greatest prophets to the Gentile. Et regardez, chose assez remarquable, le seul peuple au monde, la seule ethnie au monde, qui sert le même Dieu que nous, le Dieu d'Abraham, Dieu unique, éternel, n'ayant ni femme, ni fils, ni, ni petit-fils, ni euh, Saint-Esprit, éternel, sans image, sans représentation, 
Le seul peuple au monde, c'est Ishmaël, l'islam. Tous les autres représentations, ou pas de Dieu du tout, ou plusieurs. Le seul qui sert le même Dieu que nous, le Dieu unique sans forme, elle. Very, very interesting um, information. Like I said, every video is supposed to give us some sort of education. It's up to us to take that knowledge, learn from it, or just completely ignore it. I think I've been saying this in my previous videos. So, what if the name was there? Why do people deny that? Um, Muhammad can be the last messenger or that his name can be in the Torah or the Bible why? what do people really have to lose? I don't understand and the story of the guy that was testing Muhammad to see if he's really really the, the last prophet or the messenger of God I think I reacted to that story a few um, days back last week a few days back and it was just so amazing the, the the prophet was calm even though the other guy wanted to shake them up by demanding that they pay him there and then and it was just it's an amazing story so if you haven't seen that video go back to our videos and uh watch it otherwise this is very very interesting let me react to the second part of this and i'll see you in my next video